Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place. See if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Well, Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth, if you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Hold on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. Uh... Are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. And you just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right boys? Wow. Can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Our 
boy talk here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. <laughs> this right here just became a matter of Matsugani family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hotshot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> Get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugani-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go.
Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Pass the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, uh, Yagami. Evening, Genda-sensei. Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda-sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani-sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda-sensei. I got you some Doriaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind. So... What are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda-sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. <laughs> Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda-sensei. Hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. Doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's gotta stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy-chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just... Give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. Genta Law Office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san. That was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence... for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. 
Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda-san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani-sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that, Tuck? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsudane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsudane patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda-sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda-sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy, part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly giving the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it.
Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? You think Hamra really killed him? Just curious. I don't know. And I don't really care. If he says he's innocent, I gotta prove he's innocent. That's my job. Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. I got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do.